Hey guys, it's Kao here, and today I'll be doing a special video. Now, I guess most of you don't know who Saburo Sakai is. Um, he's actually an ace of the month on War Thunder, but he's a real person as well. Um, Saburo Sakai is a Japanese fighter pilot who flew the A6 M2 Ryzen, better known as the Zero um, of the Japanese Air Force, which are you seeing right now. Now this on itself wasn't that special, but what is special is the things Saburo Sakai actually did during the Second World War. Uh, one of the things he's known for is his outstanding flying skills. He was an excellent ace pilot in the Japanese Air Force. And being an ace pilot, to be honest, is really, really special because not a lot of people um, got the title ace in the, in the Air Force. Um, now. I want to um, talk about some um, historical takedowns which were um, done on his name and also some quite heroic things that he did during the Second World War. So on the 8th of December 1941, Saburo Sakai was one of the 45 Zero fighters who attacked Clark Air Base, which was an air base in the Philippines. Um, they flew out to neutralize the base or destroy it, one of two, um, facing American fighter pilots. Um, the American fighter pilots uh, possessed um, the P-40 Kitty Hawks, which were one of the airplanes used during that day. And um, Saburo Sakai was the first pilot worldwide to take down a P-40 Kitty Hawk. Now, this might not sound that special, but the P-40 Kitty Hawk was actually one of America's newest and most advanced fighters during that time. And taking one down really was a big achievement. Um, this takedown got repeated by multiple pilots in the future, and um, why is this actually so special? Um, like I just said, it's one of the most advanced um, fighters during that time, and they had a lot of firepower, they were fast to be for the Kitty Hawks, and the only thing the Sir could actually beat them on was the maneuverability. The Sirs were a lot more maneuverable, but still, it was quite an achievement. Now, another thing uh, Sakai did was, on the third day of combat, um, during the same mission to neutralize the airbase, um, America sent out several um, B-17 flying fortresses, which were um, bombers, to counterattack the Japanese. Now, until that day, there were no B-17s yet being shot down in combat by any air force whatsoever. But that changed when Sakai actually lined his airplane up with the B-17 flying fortress and he fired away. Now this might sound easier than it actually is, but B-17 is known for its immense capability of absorbing damage. The B-17 could take so much damage, just it would usually take a lot of airplanes to actually take one down, and it would take a lot of time. Now, Saburo Sakai did manage to take one down by his own, and um, this was quite a huge achievement. But what Sakai did was not only taking lives away, he actually saved lives as well. In 1942, uh, Sky flew out with a Zero on a patrol over Jaffa, which is an Indonesian island. He got ordered to, uh, to take down any enemy airplanes, both armed and unarmed, so even if it was a transport plane, he was ordered to take it down. Now, during this patrol, after Sakai shot down an enemy aircraft, he encountered a Douglas DC-3, which was a Dutch airplane. Um, this airplane was unarmed and it transported civilians. But Sakai did not know that it actually transported civilians, so he assumed that the airplane was transporting important people which could help um, useful information for the Japanese Air Force. Um, because Sakai thought this, he signaled the pilot of the Douglas to actually follow Sakai uh, to capture those important people and being able to actually um, get information for them, but the pilot did not obey. So when um, Sakai flew closer to the Douglas, he spotted a woman with her child um, through a window. At this point he started realizing that the airplane was not actually carrying important people, or maybe it did, but it carried um, civilians as well. And he noted, as soon as the airplane would land on one of the Japanese air bases, um, everyone would go to the prison or to one of the Japanese um, working camps. And to be honest, it was a hell to be in there. So. Sakai just started thinking and he did not want civilians, innocent people to go there. So um, the Douglas was trying to fly away from the wall, just um, trying to um, get away and survive. 
Um, so he decided to not shoot down his airplane. He signaled the pilot for Douglas that he could just move on and um, next to that he left him alone. Now this is quite a, a, a heroic event by Sakai. Um, he actually ignored the orders given by his commanders and he actually saved lives of all those Americans because if he would have followed his orders he should have shot down the airplane but he did not do this. Now fortunately the Japanese Air Force did not find about, out about this until after this war. Um, if they did find out about it he was most likely executed by his commanders because disobeying means your own death. But Sakai actually did take risk saving like maybe hundreds of lives. I don't know how many people were in the airplane but he definitely saved a lot of um, people there. Now this really shows that not all Japanese uh, were dicks back in World War II like all the Japanese um, soldiers. It actually shows the Japanese people were um, humans as well and that they actually um, that they actually did good things as well instead of like attacking Pearl Harbor and um, having extremely violent behavior against the prisoners. They actually did good things as well. Now not all of them did good things but some of them did as well so we should respect them in that as well. Now this is pretty much everything I want to say about um, Sabuda Sky. Those are just some interesting facts about him uh, flying in a World War II. And if you enjoyed this video then I want to ask you to subscribe, comment, favorite, share, like, what up guys and then I want to thank you for watching and see you at my next video.